Hey everyone, in this episode we'll design and paint a quick character sketch and of course we'll break down all the main steps. My name is Victor, I'm a concept artist working for film and games and I really hope you guys will enjoy this video. So let's get started! And the first thing I do is to put down a darker value, adding some texture to the canvas to get rid of the white. Then it's time to sketch out the idea I had and I wanted to paint this cool reconnaissance type of character, crouching, sort of like being camouflaged in tall grass. And an important thing for you guys to keep in mind, especially as beginners, is to work with reference images. Very important. At the drawing stage especially, when you design your composition, your pose, grab a few photos from the internet or pose it out yourself, also a very accessible way to get a nice ref. Because it's very easy to make mistakes, especially if you're not a character designer or character animator and you're not practicing gesture drawings, anatomy, simplifying shapes very often. Alright, so we've designed and prepared the composition, now it's time to work with value and color. And I've started from the background, establishing the sky, I work with pretty large brush strokes at first, because you don't want to worry about the details for now, you just want to get a feel for the values and figure out the mood. Once you will have things roughly blocked in, you can try and figure out how the character will look and slowly adding smaller elements uh, to it. I know that the values right now are still quite flat, so there is not a lot of depth, that's why I will keep adjusting them time to time. You can use levels with Ctrl L or Curve Editor with Ctrl M. As I was painting, I kept thinking that it would be cool to darken the lower half of our character, so it looks like she's emerging from tall grass and that's why I keep adding more grass to the foreground and darkening sort of the values, the lower half especially. Also adding like a camo aspect to her outfit, like a small cape designed to blend with the ground. I thought this might work with the whole design. When we look at the weapon, it's pretty straightforward. I start painting with larger brush strokes again, defining bigger areas, uh, adding uh, some color variation, adding some larger elements, so the, the first read, and then we're moving towards smaller details, adding some color accents, but really nothing too flashy because the whole design idea of the character should be stealthy looking. By the way, don't forget there's a free brush pack in the description and for those of you that want to improve even faster, you can check my Patreon page where I upload full process videos, original PSD files and bonus tutorials, so feel free to check it out. So finally I figured I should spend some time on the face and the most important would be to keep things readable and describe the planes correctly. So by adding new things, try not to mess up what you already have. Now when it comes to this, my goal is, while I practice when I'm gonna practice more and learn to simplify things as much as possible when working on it. Because right now I feel like I spend way too much time doing things with small brush strokes that don't really add anything, just create unnecessary tension. So I will be spending some time defining the hair uh, and trying to add some depth to the whole design. And also working on the face, working on the features, try not to switch to autopilot and keep things, keep your brush strokes being deliberate, think about the planes, where are they facing and the lighting scenario. And if you find reference images with a similar lighting situation, to what you're going for in your image, that would be even better. Then you can learn even more about how light works, how the planes react to the whole thing. And uh, also I've noticed that as I was working on the face, maybe the shape was a little bit off, so I've slimmed it down in the later stages. And you can also notice that right now, uh, throughout the whole process, I'm not stuck in one spot, 
I am keeping some, keeping, giving some attention to a focal point and then moving out, making sure that there is a sort of a consistency to the whole thing, like adding some uh, definition to other areas as well, but also keep in mind about your focal areas, about the level of detail and areas of rest. You want to keep it, you want to keep the viewer's eye circulating throughout the image by adding depth, uh, also between the planes and uh, allowing for these nice trans transitions across your whole image. Alright, so let's not drag this for too long and have a look at the final image. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing, it helps a lot. And also don't forget to ask any questions you have about the process in the comment section, I'm trying to answer as many as I can. Thanks again so much for sticking till the end and I hope to see you guys in the next video, coming soon.